you too. I think I can pull it off, and this is probably my River Island parcel, so hang on. This item are these full leather trousers. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new around here, my name is Eva. I live in London. I would love if you hit the subscribe button. I'm a mum. I post mainly about fashion, lifestyle, beauty, my life in London, <laughs> which is not much happening now in lockdown. Uh, but yeah, welcome here. And I thought I'm going to start a new vlog. Um, I'm hoping probably to do uh, some orders, so there may be a haul coming up. Um, so I always mix my videos rather than do a dedicated video, uh, just because I publish one video and some people prefer vlogs and um, people that want to see the, the hauls of fashion, I can they can always kind of drop just to that part. If that's going to be the case, I normally put down in the description box below like what uh, time it starts if you're just here for the haul or something like that. So yeah, let's start the vlog. I'm gonna have my breakfast, I've done my workout, nothing too much, just uh, I think 20 minute bum and legs with weights today, so I'm trying to mix and match and my back is quite sore. Uh, otherwise I'm doing like insanity workout, I'm back on that, which I did yesterday, but I want to try something different, so maybe a few days just insanity and a few days just weights, um, just to mix and match. Uh, to keep me like also focused and motivated not to do the same thing all over again and try whether that's gonna Help because at the moment I'm more trying to shape the body rather than weight loss uh, I mean, yeah, I could do still with the weight loss, but rather I'm more about like shaping the body um, I'm quite happy with my body as it is but just shaping and tightening and that sort of thing uh, so I'm gonna have a quick breakfast today. On my menu is banana with some nuts and honey. I've had my coffee already. I'm gonna have another glass of water, take my vitamins, drop off my son to nursery and then I'm gonna do go and do a food shop, our weekly food shop. So I'm gonna jump in the car probably. I may take a car actually to nursery and then drive already from there. So let's start this vlog and let's enjoy it. is definitely putting it in the cupboards especially when you have a small kitchen that has to be done and I know I don't have to go to the shop maybe for fresh bread but that's it uh, Liam loves his toast and um, sandwiches as well so I'm gonna go home I will see how I get on with time I just need to tidy up spruce a little bit maybe hoover and I'll see if I can squeeze in a very quick uh, TikTok video I have got one ready uh, a comedy video with Blagena and I would like one fashion one so let's go I'm back home guys it's very gloomy so I'm not sure if you can see me maybe I'll turn the light on just quickly very super casual outfit for running errands a uh, simple hoodie I'll try to link similar my Saint Laurent bloggers bag uh, my beloved leggings <laughs> I just lost what I wanted to say. These are the Spanx ones. Um, Nike socks and Nike trainers. And this coat is from TK Maxx. You also saw it on the previous vlogs. And Swarovski earrings. So one has got the safety pin and one is just a simple hoop. Looks like my morning is gonna be house related and everything like shopping because I still didn't get a chance to film. Uh, and I still have to hoover. Um, just cooking Liam's lunch, one of his favorite paprika chicken, and I'm gonna have a millet with um, more kind of like a salty version with cut tomatoes, some garlic, and I put like a little bit cheese on the top. Uh, so that's also one of the recipes from my detox book. It's actually delicious. I would never say I would love something like that, but it's yummy. You should try, guys. So this is the millet with tomatoes and garlic. It's super simple, full of goodness. Nice nutrition for your body and actually delicious. So I'm going to eat actually before I pick Liam up um, and then continue with the day. I'm walking to pick Liam up but I'm going to pop out 
post office just to send something I sold on eBay and I've noticed it's actually one of my regulars from Depop. Just the address looked familiar and then I checked and yeah, it was her. So I know it's gonna go into good hands. It's a slapped print coat I haven't worn forever but it's much it looks like new. Guys, um, today's following day. I'm just quickly getting ready. I will be dropping off Liam to nursery and then film. Um, I think I'm gonna do my hair just before filming uh, because I will want to do with like a straightener. So it's gonna be rather straight and I feel for filming when it's fresh. So I'm just gonna put it in a bun. Um, I haven't worked out this morning because I feel like I've got a sore back. So I'll see how I feel later. At least like a quick 15 minute I wouldn't mind and I think my parcel should be coming today from River Island um, so I want to do like a try on haul either today or tomorrow depending when it comes and depending on the light because the light today is really bad let me check the weather for tomorrow um, no it's raining tomorrow as well so not great either either day but it's definitely gonna appear in this vlog so if I I don't want the vlog to be too long and just the same thing repetitive so I'll either film it today or tomorrow um, and I may not be filming um, the rest. I'm gonna now go downstairs have my breakfast. Uh, by the way shout out to this product that was sent to me by Arborean. It's the Skin Hero uh, Bare Skin Perfector 7 Days Transformation. Now if you like bare looks and you want to kind of perfect your skin it actually does make a huge huge difference. Despite my skin not being the best today but I would actually easily go out without makeup. I'm just gonna close the door. Uh, Liam's playing his games. So yeah this is really really good. Um, I'm just gonna tidy up my hair. I'm listening to, you see I turned it off now so it doesn't disturb, but I'm listening to some affirmations for a good day. Um, I'm gonna probably open, read a few pages of my books. I've got this routine in the morning. I normally meditate, um, even if it's just like 10 minute uh, chakra meditation. Um, when I wake up, because Liam is normally asleep and I wake up ridiculously early. So does he, but I can't shift it. Um, uh, I have my coffee and then I do a lot of, sometimes I do quite a lot of work stuff, but I always try to read in the morning at least five pages, three to five pages from like a motivational book and stuff and then I do my Duolingo and I haven't done either of that so I may read a little bit of my book uh, this morning before we leave maybe with my breakfast and do that and so yeah this is kind of my routine so workout, book, Duolingo, meditation before actually we leave for nursery and then I feel like I have achieved something, I started the day right I've done something for my own progress, for my development, whether that is language wise, whether that is um, self-care, self-help and or looking after my health by exercising. So yeah that's my normal routine uh, so hopefully I'll I'll see how I feel later about the workout. Uh, it's meant to be miserable so we're gonna be home I may as well do it in the afternoon but I just felt a little bit drenched this morning. Uh, I'm gonna show you also what I'm wearing again keeping it quite simple in a lockdown. Sometimes I feel like I want to dress up but then I just ran home, uh, I'm filming, we're not really going anywhere, I'm not taking any images, um, so it's gonna be probably t-shirt, blazer, jeans kind of day. So I'll catch up with you later guys. Guys, so I started to film and I forgot my nephew was calling me to help him with his English uh, homework. So I only have got one video sadly and I will have to help him. Last time it took a good 45 minutes to do that. So gonna do that now and then cook and then pick Liam up so not much productive but it is what it is I've got two videos today so I need to push maybe tomorrow and the more I'm thinking of it and uh, the more I think I'm actually gonna work out today later in the afternoon and before I head out for Liam I'm gonna show you my outfit and I think um, I'm still waiting for the River Island parcel so I'll probably film it tomorrow uh, so uh, another casual more dress down Look, I'm I'm just I'm going through a lazy phase. So I'm wearing this Balmain t-shirt. It's got the buttons here. I haven't worn it for a long time. My baggy jeans, um, my cowboy boots, 
the Saint Laurent blogger bag and I got this new blazer. It's basically a vintage YSL men's blazer. It's a little bit more oversized but actually I think I can pull it off and this is probably my River Island parcel so hang on. Yes I was right this is the River Island parcel um, but I'll still do it tomorrow because I don't want to do it with Liam. And yeah, the blazer is like a kind of dark green colour. I think it's going to look re really great belted. In the worst case scenario, I really like it. I love the length. I may just make it, you know, maybe sometimes when I go to check because it's much cheaper just to have it adjusted and make smaller. But I think for the price I got it, it's pretty good. And it's 100% wool. So I'm very happy with that. Okay, I need to steam it a little bit more, but I've belted it, I pulled up the sleeves and uh, secured with the hair bands, uh, nice trick, and I, I love it guys, I love it. Very, very happy with my purchase. And welcome back, I'm um, filming uh, now the River Island haul and it's following day, I kind of... Um, had still loads to do yesterday, um, but I've been productive. I finished the Harper's Bazaar, I did my workout, so I'm very glad. Uh, we had a nice reading session with Liam. Luckily, he likes books, so we've got this routine, and then always kind of in the evening around five, six, we go upstairs to his room and he's giving me books he wants to go through. And today, all I want to do as a part of this vlog is show you. Uh, the items, so there's four items in total, one is still on the way, so maybe I'll put a picture of the item uh, if that's point because that item is pretty much sold out, um, but I'll talk about it later and I want to show you the items I got and they will be cut out, so what I've done this morning is I filmed uh, a TikTok fashion video which is also with these items, um, I've done actually TikTok live, got ready uh, and that's after I dropped him off, of course. Um, got ready for the filming for the day, did my makeup, blah blah blah. <laughs> and uh, also did some thumbnails pictures. The light is pretty bad and my ring light, the one I have for TikTok, is not the best. So um, if basically the lighting isn't the best in the cutout, I do apologise. But my big ring light... And there's a doorbell. <laughs> one sec. Sorry, that was for the neighbours um, and I forgot what I was saying. Do you know what? Every time I'm filming there's a courier or there's a postman and I used to laugh at <laughs> watching my friend's Emma, Emma Miller videos. I always thought like, is she staging this? Like, maybe she is, I don't know, but with me, this is crazy. Anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying, so yeah, um, the item and that is on the way, that was sold out, so that no, probably no point. And, oh yes, the ring light. I lost it. Um, yeah, so Liam knocked down my big ring light, which I actually had for YouTube filming, and that would lit up so much better, like everything. And for now, I feel this is okay. I mean, if I had a massive YouTube channel, I would probably get a new one, but for now, this is okay. And you have to apologize that the lighting is not the best. So let's start with the items. Uh, so the first item are these four leather trousers. Because I had it on, it's not zipped or anything. And uh, they're like cream four leather trousers, elastic uh, at the back. Now I chose size 12 and maybe I should have gone for 10. The reason why I sometimes choose for um, like bigger sizes is I prefer oversized. And a couple of times I've been, like, sometimes I feel with River Island, uh, some of the trousers go, like, a little bit smaller. Uh, another reason is length. Length of sleeves um, and length of skirts and dresses. So I often, even in Zara, sometimes opt for large, just to feel, like, the dress to be a little bit longer, because obviously I'm really tall. But what I love about these is the ends, which have got a little tie. Uh, so I think it brings something cooler. Again, it may not be for every day. I prefer these with heels. Um, but I'm going to try it with trainers as well. So you will see in the cutouts how I styled it. Um, with some other items, because it all works really well together. But how they see and how they fit together. But this can be just very, with a very simple white t-shirt. Um, I love that they are high-waisted. It can be that thing that is dressed up or dressed down. I'm very happy with... Uh, the fabric or how they feel uh, so for that price 
it's good. Everything is going to be linked down below. So these are £40. But maybe get true to size. Um, and yeah, I really, really like these. Uh, so these are also ones I filmed for my TikTok video. You can just throw over blazer like with white t-shirt and you've got a pretty cool outfit. And uh, the next thing is actually super affordable and I thought it's a nice alternative to one of these knitted waistcoats. It's like this bib style waistcoat, um, that's how they call it. It's got ties on the side and I thought for £20 this is a very versatile thing. So for example I've tried it on with the trousers and just white t-shirt. Uh, you can uh, tie it as a bow, you can just leave it just a simple knot. Um, obviously it gives you extra warmth if you want over the shirt, but I think this will look nice on the dresses. Um, it will look nice when you have just like leggings and a long shirt peeking out. So literally treat this as a waistcoat, but I feel it gives you a little bit more kind of flexibility. Um, and it works well again with a few of these items I purchased. So I think this is really good and it feels super soft. Like. Um, I don't know what the fabric is, but yeah, this feels really, really nice. It's going to be probably polyester, but really well done. Uh, yeah, so acrylic, polyester, elastan, but they've done it really well despite of not being, um, you know, like wool or anything like that. So that feels really nice and I thought really nice thing even for spring, keep you warm, add a bit of trend. Uh, so I actually like it with the trousers when you have a shirt tucked in uh, but also when it's tucked out, so both options. Uh, next thing is uh, this shirt, it's just a simple blue shirt which I need to... it's inside out. <laughs> um, I think these classic pieces are kind of forever pieces in your wardrobe. And they have another one which is probably less wearable um, that has got a sign at the top so I'll link it down below. It's got that Valen Balenciaga vibes um, as well so just a very simple one. I have got a Tommy Hilfiger one so I should wear it more but this is a different uh, fabric to it. So this actually looks nice with the trousers. Um, you can wear it all together actually the three items I've showed you. Uh, you can wear it over the trousers uh, you can put the shirt in the trousers and maybe throw over a blazer. There's a lot of ways how to style this. Uh, really dress up or dress down. Like the trousers are a great piece for dressing up and uh, dressing down. Uh, so is the shirt, maybe with like cool leather trousers when you uh, choose the right jewellery, maybe sparkle back. Um, so you can do a lot of with these things. Um, so I love them all. And the last item is probably the most... Um, I wouldn't call extravagant, it's just striking colour and it's giving me a bit of, uh, was it two seasons ago, two, three seasons ago, uh, a bit of Jacquemus vibes. It was 65, so the most expensive and it is, it is this pink uh, structured blazer. Now there was a really nice one on Storets, um, I think again a year, a year and a half ago as soon as the Jacquemus pink blazer came out. That was very similar and this one is not a copy but I think it's like inspired. It's the colour, it's the more the oversized feel. Again I went for 12 but in this, on this uh, occasion I'm very happy I went for larger. It's got nice but dark buttons as a contrast and I think they've got matching trousers. So if you guys into suits um, you can get that. I was more after the blazer uh, because I think you can wear this a lot and um, it's a nice way. Now when I was looking at my blazer I thought I need something colourful especially with springs coming. A lot of neon colours are gonna be back, greens, orange, pink. Uh, so this is a nice colour in like injecting a bit of colour into my wardrobe that over the winter can get quite um, tonal like nudes and I like navy, uh, white, black um, so I'm ready to bring on some colour. I was just checking if I can wear this with my Balenciagas but they're very different shades. I think you know you could potentially but I would need to look at other things whether that works and not and a bag that goes with it um, but I really really love this actually and again I think you can wear it with the trousers um, as well so these two uh, can be together. I, I think this would be interesting maybe even in the summer when it gets colder, like UK has got colder summer, uh, put over white dress, white shirt, um, 
I styled this, I think, in the clip with my Go To All Saints slip dress. Um, I just adore that dress that's like cosplay wear, oh, nothing. Um, and yeah, you can really dress up things with this as well. So when we can go out, please, <laughs> I can't wait for that day. You know, you can wear it for dinner, but also just trainers and jeans and, you know, add a bit of color to simple looks like that. So I really like it. I would also wear this belted. I would wear it um, just maybe with a nice bralette underneath, just go a little bit brave with jeans, um, heels, that sexy look. Um, but with touch of trend, uh, so I really really love all the pieces. Now the last item I've ordered actually a little bit after this is basically these jeans. Now I'm in a strange uh, position when it comes to jeans at the moment. I would love to get like a cool pair of jeans but I feel the skinnies are, yeah, it had, it had its time. Um, and I do have got quite a few skinny jeans but I can see myself I never grab them anymore. I even done like a TikTok video, which is last year, maybe around autumn time, uh, when I was like, how to wear skinny jeans, despite them, them not being a thing anymore. Um, and a lot of women, especially older women, still loved it, because for a lot of people, it is that go to cut. Uh, but I just feel like they don't do <laughs> much for most people in terms of the figure. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna go into that. So basically, I want some cool jeans. And I really like the look of these uh, jeans. They call on the website that the jeans. So I'll try to put a picture and link them down below. There's still some sizes left. I'm very lucky I'm tall, so I need the long ones. Otherwise, the regular and short, they were all gone. Like, all the sizes were gone. And you can tell that's probably the way we're going, because um, last season trend, and I think that's going to continue to 2021 when it comes to denim, are going to be... I think I saw it somewhere in one of the magazines called a lot of denim, so wide, big, you know, there's a lot of fabric, a lot of material, um, so it's not, uh, it's basically not small tight jeans, it's uh, a lot of these cuts that are either wide leg and, um, you know, there's rips every now and then, it's a bit more, I would call it less feminine, more cool, and exactly like that, the jeans. So these are high-waisted. The only worry I have, um, again, I've ordered size 12 because I also feel sometimes when I order true to size with these cuts that are oversized, they end up being tight and they lose exactly what they're meant to be, you know, like a dead oversized feel. Um, so I would say, uh, like a rule should be, uh, maybe even go even size bigger. I do that with even my... Um, denim shorts in the summer, sometimes I go two sizes bigger because I love when they have the big feel um, and rather than being tight. So yeah, I can't wait to get them to try them. I think potentially they fit well, they could look so good with more feminine items like especially some of my shoes like the Balenciaga knife pumps that I'm not giving up <laughs> on. Um, a few people told me to sell them but I don't know. I. If I love a shoe or if I love a bag, I don't care, it's not a trend anymore. And I just love, and I'm all about energy you feel about certain items. Like, we should get rid of items that we don't feel good about, that you don't have them associated maybe with nice things. So I've had few things like that, um, so it's better to get it out of the house. Now I'm talking from the spiritual and happiness point of view and they just give me good vibe those shoes so and also they could look they they potentially could look really well with my Manolos and with some of my Nicholas Kirkwood shoes so hopefully they look okay on me um they should look well with some of my oversized blazer I actually got a new addition I got a basically a men's blazer another men's blazer it's huge but I think I can work with it, and if that would bother me, I would probably actually take it to have it tailored. Um, probably in Czech Republic, where it's more affordable, so it doesn't lose the charm of getting a nice branded blazer for very little money on eBay. So yeah, I got a YSL Mint blazer. Uh, it's got two row buttons. It's kind of like a deep forest dark green. It says green, but it, in some light it looks almost black. So yeah, a few new pieces, some new, some secondhand, um, but I'm really now getting into the idea of buying things maybe off eBay, especially the designer stuff, um, because 
it made me realize I had so many beautiful things and I sold it for less than you buy like a new Zara, less than River Island. And again, we go back to the sustainability thing, isn't it? Uh, as I said, I'm definitely not a prime example of being sustainable, but I feel good when I buy a second hand item and I feel good especially when I get a good value but at the same time when I paid something for full price and then you bloody hell get £20 for Isabel Marand dress, yeah, it does break my heart. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video and um, everything is going to be linked down below. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully you like some of these pieces and um, I'll try to find obviously the same or alternative items even to these things like things I'm wearing like my earrings like these Misoma ones this necklace may be sold out but I'll try to find similar and um, link all the items I've been talking to so thank you so so much have the best day and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you soon bye mm -hmm.